Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Paris Auto Show. We're taking a look at the new Dacia Logan. It has a new Dacia badge, so Dacia decided to change their logo and they wanted to do something new and they obviously wanted to stand out because they decided to take the logo and uh, put it in a white color. So let's come a little bit closer. So this is the new badge. It sort of looks like an X, you know, some sort of uh, styled leathers, but this is this is actually D and C for Dacia. Now they've added this white stripes on the top and they kind of stand out. Now, if you look at the lights of the new Logan, they're just a little bit different. They added uh, white details inside the headlights they removed the chrome you still have the uh, bulbs for the turn signals but this light is LED and this one is also bulb Dacia signature inside there fog lights also uh, halogen bulbs now a little air intake on the top and more at the bottom they added the radar so that's nice for safety now this is your favorite Romanian cab this is their taxi the most common car you're gonna see as a cab and it looks a little bit better I like this creases the details so it looks a little bit better and they have beautiful alloys these are diamond cut silver on black with the new Dacia logo uh, we have here so continental eco contact six tires Tire dim engine is 195.55 R16, so nice and comfortable on the road. See, even in the turn signals, they added this like white details. And on the top here, we have light and I believe rain sensor. And you can see the dash quite plasticky. Moving on, if we check the profile of the car. Yeah, definitely the new logo stands out a lot. Now, taking a look from this angle, it kind of looks interesting. And let me tell you why, because I like they actually added like a spoiler in the body. And these lights, think about it, they look a little bit like the Mercedes A-Class. Just a little bit similarity in design language. Now from the rear, Dacia also decided to put leathers on the back and in white color. Now it does stand out on this gray finish, but I'm not sure if you pick white color. Do you get this in black or what? I don't know. Or in chrome. And then weird decision. I'm not sure if this is final for the production. They added this like leathers. This is like a sticker, but it's kind of rough texture. It's quite weird. Finally, white LED lights with license plates and a back camera on the rear they've added the parking sensors here but they're not painted in the color of the vehicle press to open look at the spring they're really going cheap on this uh, i think you can change the tension of the spring here maybe not sure how that affect the opening or closing uh, pretty light as you can see there's no cover so there's plastic here to pull to close not don't touch the rough edges not to cut yourself and then over here as well not even no plastic so that's kind of weird now checking the right side there's plenty of space uh, you can put something here there's a clip and it looks the same on the other side as well uh, you can put some longer objects here again this is perfect car for taxiing now over here you have the uh, Dacia carpets it's an extra one and inside here you can pull so you can see there could be a spare wheel but there isn't one so there's a lot of room you can put some stuff inside there and you have one warm light so you can see a little bit in this dark interior the seats knock down 60 40 So that's a nice pull and easy close. They added a little bit of fenders here so the wheel doesn't stick out. Let's come from the other end. So the fuel cap is locked so no one will steal it. So there is a spec sheet so I just want to show you the car from this angle. And 
can't see the exhaust pipe though. I think it's on the right side, I can't see it. Now it'd be cool if they added tinted windows, but it is what it is. So I gotta add really solid closing sound. But maybe clunky door handles. Now double ceiling on the top. No ceiling inside the doors. There's one seal inside here. In the body frame, and you can see here you can lock here for the kids inside so they cannot open plastic on the rear everything is hard this is maybe small maybe you can fit a small water bottle speaker at the bottom and power windows but all functional now over here have cloth seats very basic black with some contrasting stitching uh, to the points are in a zipper inside here and you can see the seats now if you want to knock down the seat you have to pull this tab up and gotta lower this as well so you can see that it looks very spartan there is a tether point fix there in case you decide to buy actually this car as your personal car it's not a shame we all started with uh you know cheaper brands and level up in life so there's a little seat belt holder there let's jump inside now i did not sit in the front and i think the seat is way back there's plenty of feet room and I think the seat is in the most back position, but there's uh, enough uh, knee room. It's a fit. So I think there will be more space if I get on the front and I think the seat is just a little bit too way back. No AC vents. There's a 12 volt outlet. Now I think since this is a popular car for a cab, uh, I think they should have added maybe an air vent or a USB. You can see transmission tunnel is a bit higher but not too wide and this is nice and soft comfy seats cloth seats nice warm in winter now it's kind of weird where this seat belt is coming from so yeah that's odd and you can see here some vents there and you can see the small headrest now, uh, big windows and good overview on the back. Uh, all three sides, besides the driver, have fixed handles there. And yeah, they try to maximize the space inside. But there's okay space. Now looking at the front, you can see the new steering wheel logo. Now let's hear the closing sound. Uh, yeah, it sounds shitty, to be honest, but not a lot of soundproof you can hear the music outside but uh, also not a lot of uh, headroom but if I was an average person it would be okay so I'm a two meter tall person 6.6 .6 in feet if I haven't already mentioned that uh, and the seatbelt is last century definitely not adjustable let's get on the front now um, yeah so driver end has this plastic you can remove and there's still physical cylinder for the key in case uh, you can deplete your 12 volt battery and you can see blind spot warning in the mirror there so that's nice also okay closing sound from the outside but from the inside probably not gonna sound that good the doors are pretty light though uh, hard plastic, this is soft, some sort of textile. You can lock the rear, so they added some new features of automatic power windows and electronically controlled side mirrors. They do not fold. And there's a little bit better pockets down there, speaker at the bottom, and they added a plastic little gun doorstep. So you have something. Here's your tire pressure, your tire dimension. You can see you can pop the fuel cap here, but it's on the other side, so I won't go there. Uh, low gun, original carpets, you can see the automatic in this case. And uh, push this up to slide back and forward, push this for up and down, and there's another one there to tilt. Now, uh, since this is shared with the uh, Renault, the seats are the same 
Uh, pretty basic though on the cloth. They added some sort of silver finish on the top and you have those Volvo-like headrests. Uh, steering column is of course manual. You can adjust this beam height here. Fuse box, this is plain. And let's just jump inside. So a little bit better, less shitty closing sound on the front. The rear was a little bit poor. Now let's see if this is the yeah, steering column adjustable. Lock it in. Now, I definitely someone backed up too much, so let me just get a little bit closer. Yeah, now it's more comfortable, and I think uh, there could be uh, more knee space behind a tall person. Okay, switching to wide lens, and here's the point of view. So, new Dacia signature. Again, white, and they added white details on the air vents. Zooming back in. So, have leather steering wheel, it's round, um, it's sort of flat-ish looking. I think this part is flat, uh, so it's round, it's not flat bottom. Four spoke, and have here cruise control settings, voice commands, um, and a little trip computer there lights and um, wiper controls for front and rear and over here you have the source volume mute and there's a little roller in the background you can change radio stations um, physical uh, needles and gauges it is what it is hard plastic there's a speaker on the top there this is padded softly with a little cloth they had a USB-A, they know these cars are being used as cabs, so, you know, they usually cab drivers add their, you know, Waze or some other app um, phones. Now, the main screen is on the top, so your, your eyes are closer to the road, unlike the Duster, who still has the screen underneath the AC vents. Now, moving in the bottom, you can lock the car, hazards, you can see it for the uh, in outside on the side mirrors, from the driver perspective, airbag, and information auto start stop off and eco mode that you're probably never going to use there's a start engine button there and ac vents that we saw in the Renault clio press this one max and rear uh, defrost ac close there's a 12 volt outlet on the bottom usb a for fast charging so i went one's here and one's on the top for media over here plastic key room for some personal stuff Automatic, park reverse, neutral drive, and I'm not sure what the L is for. And it's pretty plain here. Electronic parking brake, two cup holders, plastic key, but you know, serve their purpose. This is cloth and really basic, more on the stiff side, slightly padded, and okay space for maybe some personal stuff. And the seats are quite comfortable, to be honest. Now, this is uh, quite spacious because you can see that, but it just falls down. And, you know, show you the air vents. Probably, yeah. Uh, check the screen. Uh, you have this home menu, you can turn it on here. You have radio, media, phone, vehicle, but um, yeah. And uh, you see that they uh, left the duster here instead of the little gun and you can connect your smartphone you know it's very basic you can play with the settings here day night or automatic uh, very basic but you know it serves its purpose and let's turn this off and let's get uh, outside but before we do that not to forget a uh, good overview on the back light switches here I think there's warm lights a uh, little I'm not sure this is like a sensor emergency call there a little speaker there documents holder privacy mirror no light here and this does not extend so but it's almost covering the whole uh, space there and uh, headspace is okay now um, you have the trip computer and the small screen and the digital speedo so I really didn't want to show that because it's just pretty basic 
And uh, yeah, not to forget, I didn't forget to pop the bonnet. There's this guy, full ones. So a little bit uh, on the right. You can see the mechanism. And there you can see the uh, probably petrol engine. I haven't checked the specs yet, but use a little light on the top there. Uh, the duster gets, there's gonna be a separate review of the new duster, also the new badge. Uh, it has gas threads. And uh, that's it, uh, your washing fluid is here, marked black. In this case, do not wash your engine bay. And just let it drop. So that's the new Logan. Let's check the spec sheet. Let's switch to English. All new Logan, Prestige. TCE, 90 horsepower, urban gray color. And you can see here, peak power, 67, excuse me, kilowatts, uh, 90 horsepower. And transmission, uh, CVD, automatic gearbox. Not your favorite automatic, but it is what it is. And how do I get back? Oh. Well, I cannot get back, so I wanted to show you the colors and other options, but uh, I think the, as you can see that the iPad this is being run on has, I don't know, fallen down or I can't go back. Oh, wait. Well, you can see that, but I can't reach the menu. Uh, that's it. So that was the new Logan. Tell me in the comments how you like that. And want to see more from the Paris Auto Show definitely subscribe and check the channel thanks for watching bye